Hello and welcome to This Is, where we have a very special guest on Who Wants to Be a Movie Millionaire, and that is the one and only Emmy-nominated Jake Roper from Vsauce 3. Jake, how's it going, and how is your Emmy? Uh, well, I don't have one physically, because I was just nominated. I haven't won just yet. I, I thought we only had Emmy winners on the show? Not Okay, fine. Sorry. <laughs> my bad. <clears throat> Emmy nominated Jake Roper. How's it going, my friend? Ah, it's going swell. How are you, Austin Evans? I'm doing really well, and I'm ready to test you on your movie knowledge. So, of course, we did a little video together last year. It was called Can You Survive Alien? And in that, you chopped my head off. So, as punishment, I'm going to make you look silly by not knowing many famous movies that you have most certainly seen before. Are you ready to play the game? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm so ready to be horribly embarrassed. Can't wait. So, the rules are very simple. So, Matt and I have come up with a list of 12 of our favorite movies, as well as some of the favorite movies around the office. And we're going to ask you two questions. First of all, the name of the movie. And for your second a round of bonus points, what year the movie came out. Now we're going to give you a handicap of plus or minus two years. So if a movie came out in 2000, I will accept 1998, 1999, 2001, or 2002. Ah, that's how math works. Okay, thank you. <laughs> for, for, for that, you have been deducted one point. Now you're only getting one year of handicap. No! So, for previous episodes of the show, we've shown people tech, for example, and we would censor out the logos, but obviously that's not really possible. So this time, we're showing you pixelated screenshots from movies. Some of these are very iconic shots, some of them are actually a little bit difficult. So are you ready to play? Who wants to be a movie millionaire? No, you gotta go with the wager. Oh, the wager! I always forget the wager. Okay, if you were feeling so inclined to get a little wagery with me, we have a running bet on the show. If you were able to get half of these questions right, so basically you have 12 questions each with two points each. So if you can get half or more, so 12 points, throughout this entire game, then you will get the honor, the privilege, of tweeting whatever you want from the This Is account. However, if you were to say fail and not get enough points, then we would have the ability to have you tweet us out a cheeky little link to the episode. Is this a wager you would like to partake in, my friend? That sounds very fair. Okay, all right then. Let's begin with who wants to be a movie millionaire? That just sounds, doesn't sound, wait, I gotta, I gotta. Who wants to be a movie trivia millionaire? So wait, just a TO real quick. Do I get to call Ken if I'm, if I'm scared? Or not scared, I guess, if, I'm, if I need help? <laughs> you are 100%, I, was, I usually mention that in the middle of it, but you are correct. If you are feeling stumped, and you trust for some reason the illustrious Ken Bolito, you can use your one and only lifeline, phone a Ken. But just keep in mind that with 12 questions, don't burn it too early or burn it when you want because he's probably not gonna be very helpful. But you can try to talk to your son. My tablet just almost fell over. Yeah, as long as it's an anime, I feel like we're set. All right, with movie number one, let us begin. This looks like MS Paint. Art, but the, the movie is Mad Max Fury Road. And the year, oh, fudge buckets. Okay, the year would be, I'm trying to remember the Academy Awards because I won a bunch and I was very excited. I'm gonna go with, uh, came out, fudge. I'm between two years, but they're close enough where it falls within that margin of error. I'm gonna say it came out in 2016. Jake Roper from Vsauce 3. You are 100% correct. It is Mad Max Fury Road from 2015, but that's well within the margin for error. So you can see how this game works, right? We're gonna have some selectively um, <clears throat> modified screenshots from various movies to give you a real sense of what we're looking for. One question down, 100% success. Are you feeling good right now? No. Excellent. Time to move on to movie number two. Oh, wow. Um, it really, it's like Matt got a hold of MS Paint and or learned how to create art in Minecraft is what this looks like. But this, this looks like a very famous scene of uh, Michael Myers and Jamie Lee Curtis. So I'm gonna go with Halloween. I know it was in the 70s, probably late 70s. It was kind of the start of the slasher movie genre. Not, I mean, not the start, but it helped really propel it. I'm gonna go with, hmm, see, in between, but it's, it's still within the margin of error. I'm gonna go with 1977. Emmy Award nominee. Austin. <laughs> you are 100% correct. It is, in fact, Halloween from 1970. Eight. 
This is a good one. This is a... I thought this was pretty tough. I did actually not get this one at first when Matt showed it to me. The thing with this one is because it's, there's so much negative space, it's kind of like, what exactly is happening here? But you absolutely nailed it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Crying Jamie Lee Curtis. See, at least I couldn't tell in the pixelated version that she was crying, so that one was new. There you go. Well, you know what? Extra points for authenticity. You know, I'm a little bit afraid right now. You're doing way too good here. So I'm gonna move on to number three. Oh boy. Okay. Um, all right, I'm gonna go with... Okay, I think I know. I'm gonna guess that that is... It looks like Kevin Hart from Jumanji. But is it Welcome to the Jungle or The Next Level? It looks like a jungle, jungle aesthetic, so I'm gonna say it's Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. And that movie came out in 2017. Jake, I'm afraid to say that with question number three, you're 100% correct again. <laughs> Don't do that to me, the suspense. So, of course, as one of, well, you did an episode on Jumanji. That was what, number four or five you did? Yeah. Yeah, I think that was the fourth episode. Four. So with this one, the idea was we were trying to trip you up, but uh, obviously that completely failed. Okay, I'm very afraid now that you're going to get like 100% success rate here. You're already halfway to victory and you're on question three. Don't don't be scared. Just let it happen, Austin. Uh, Matt, Matt, what do we do if there's no watch time in this video because Jake got him all right and people leave after two minutes? Do we have a backup plan? Yeah. Oh, we finally get to delete the channel. All right, let's delete the channel after the next question. Uh, that looks like Daniel Craig from the movie Knives Out, which I guess came out this year, 2020. This is uh, Knives Out from 2019. Yes, you are correct. <laughs> oh, this is this is very bad, Jake. Take away that handicap. Okay, so you know what? We I've just heard from uh, from Matt. You no longer have a handicap because you're destroying us so much. You can't do that. <laughs> You set it up at the front, and then we break them in the middle when you break our game. All right, so since you are so far ahead, you have zero room for handicap on the year. Dude, you can still get so many of these wrong and be just fine. I have confidence in you. If you just guess all the movies from here correct, you're still going to win. Oh, so, okay, just to be clear, if I don't get the year, I, I don't get two points, I only get one point. So each part of that question is worse. Okay, that's fine. Jake Roper. You are on the edge of elimination. It's time to move to the next question. I don't know what this voice is, but I really hope you just do that forever. Oh, boy. Okay. This one's going to be difficult for the year. All right. I don't want to be overly confident, because I find that confidence is just a... It ends up hurting you when you're trying to succeed. Um, which is why I just, you know, always assume that I'm garbage and, and everything. But this isn't a therapy session, Austin. That's for our Thursdays at 3 p.m. <laughs> I mean, every Thursday. Well, here's the thing. This could be, you guys could have really thrown a curveball at me. Because I'm going to say that it's Back to the Future. And it's Marty McFly on stage during the prom. However, it could have also been the scene from Back to the Future 2. But I, I don't think that you thought that far ahead. So I'm going to say it's Back to the Future. And the year that it came out, fudge, I don't know, man, uh, 1985. I'm not even going to pretend to have any drama here. Yeah, you were 100% correct. It is 1985. And fun fact, of course, 1985 is the year in the movie. So yeah, no, we did not think far enough ahead to give you um, <clears throat> any kind of trick questions. Obviously, uh, no problems. You know what we need to do right now? We need to up the ante. We need to up the stakes because you're doing so well. How confident are you right now? Not at all. What do you mean you're flawless so far? You even got the year exactly right. There's still seven more questions. I'll be confident when it's over. Okay, you know what? We'll do this. If you get every single one of these correct, we will make a video of your choice to be, to, you can do whatever you want with. How about that? We're literally scrambling to come up with things because no one has ever done this well on our show right now. I mean, I can tell you right now, the video is going to be all of y'all, everybody currently that's a part of this, eating hot wings. Fair. Okay. All right. Uh, the rest of the rules still apply though. You need to get the year correct for the rest of these movies. But we will eat the hot sauce if you get the names of the movies. Sounds good. I like this. All right. Let's move on to movie number six. Oh, wow. This is a pretty, ooh, this is a pretty close one. Okay, so this one's gonna be difficult because I know that that's Sigourney Weaver and I know that it's an alien next to her face. However, that photo is, I don't know specifically the alien film that it's from. I know it's probably from Aliens or Alien 3. She had long hair in the first one and the second one, okay. I'm gonna go with Alien 3, which I think came out in 19... 
Oh, goodness. 1993. You are correct. <laughs> Although, it is 1992. Oh! This is bad. You know what? We're going to have to change the name. We were going to call this Does Jake Roper No Movies. I think the title now is Jake Roper Does No Movies. <laughs> That, no one's gonna click that. Movie number seven. Oh, come on, gang. This is Die Hard. This is uh, John McClane in the air vents, or air ducts, I should say, in Die Hard, which, uh, this is, you know, here we go with the, with the, the date. Let's see. But they're very excited about the telephone in the limousine. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go with, this is wrong, but 1988. 100% correct. I give up. I give up. That literally, like, all right. Never before have we been broken so thoroughly. Although, in hindsight, I do realize that this is the thumbnail for your Die Hard Can You Survive the Movies episode. So, to be fair, it's pretty pretty iconic. But yeah, no, literally, dead on. Dead on. Yeah, I mean, to, if it makes you feel any better, you, you guys are doing a really great job. We clearly didn't make this one hard enough. All right, let's move on to... Movie number eight. Maybe in the future, don't don't choose movies that I've probably watched a bunch because I made a video about them. We tried to. That was the whole point. Like so much of this game is about testing you on like how old you know your old movies, your old videos, your old tech, like stuff that you should know. So this is Ghostbusters. That's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Now the year is going to be tricky. Ghostbusters, I I want to say was relatively not super early eighties. But definitely before 86, I would say. Because we had Sigourney Weaver. I, okay, I, this is probably wrong. No, I, I'm just, mm, 1983. Woo! All right, it's 1984. I'm going to consider that to be a success for us. You only get one point on that one. Yeah, those were the two I was between. 33 or 83 and 84 is what I was juggling between. At this point, you are at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So you, are, you can get every single movie wrong from here and still have two extra points. Can I spend those on like a slap bracelet or something? Or is this like Chuck E. Cheese? How's that work? No, but, but you still need to get four of them correct to make us eat hot wings. You do have to tweet out anything I want now, right? Uh, I do have to tweet out whatever you want, yes. But it's time to move on to movie number nine. Ooh, okay, this one's a little tough. Um, purple and blue, a lot of hues. Um, okay, can I give Ken a call? You can give Ken Bolito a very special call. Hi, is this Ken? It is. Hi, it Ken. Is. This is Jake Roper. So I only yes. have about 15 seconds left, uh, and I'm on this question on the show that Austin Evans is making me do, and I just want to let I just want to ask you: Do you like Blade Runner 2049? If it means me eating hot sauce, I don't. Oh, that's unfortunate. I actually, it's one of my favorite movies in recent memory. Uh, but that's all I got for you, Ken. All right, so Blade Runner 2049, and I think it came out. Uh, oh, God. This is so bad. <laughs> and uh, I think... See, this one's going to be tough again, too, because it's between two years for me here. I remember I saw it in New York. So I was living in New York at the time, which was... 2017 for the most part, but I was there at the beginning of 2018, but I would imagine that this kind of film wouldn't come out in January or February because it's a it's a big one. They wouldn't just dump it. So I'm going to say 2017 is when the movie came out. I'm not even going to pretend anymore. I've given up. Yeah, you're 100% correct. I thought we had you for a second. I thought we had you for a second, but you know what? It is a very iconic scene, and I will totally give you that. This is a great movie. Like I, that's This is actually one of my suggestions. Okay. Well, Jake, it's looking pretty good. However... I do have to say, there are three questions left. You're absolutely killing it, but you have to get all three of these movies right. Let's move on to movie number 10. Yeah, okay, this is uh, Men in Black. This is after Will Smith helps deliver the baby on like the Long Island Expressway or something. Um, Men in Black came out when though? Goodness gravy. I remember, so I'm just going by what I remember seeing it. I remember seeing it in theaters and I lived in Colorado at the time. Like a lot of people when they've been playing this game have been like, oh, you know, I remember because this was the camera I was shooting or this or that. But you have such like specific detail on like which theaters you were in and like what time period. I mean, it's, I'm legitimately impressed. Oh, well, movies are just very important to me. They like raised me as a kid. Just like Will Smith helped raise this squid baby. Um, for a brief moment in time. Uh, before he got like sucked back into the car. Anyway, um, okay, because this was after Independence Day, I think, is when this movie came out. And I was like super pumped because I was like, Will Smith! Um, I'm probably gonna be off by a year, but I'm gonna say 1997. Yep, that's the year. Okay, so I'm just gonna 
keep marking on my little thing. Look at Jake, he's so good at movies. We should have asked him, I don't know, what, okay. If you were gonna do this game again, what would we ask you that's actually difficult? You quiz me on Austin Evans videos. <laughs> you clearly have never watched any of those. I actually don't really understand what your channel's about. Let's move on to movie number 11. We got some people in a car. It looks like they're wearing sunglasses. They're also wearing suits. So immediately I want to think Blues Brothers. Hmm. I'm trying to look at it. Hold on, I'm just going to set up my phone and... Yeah? Do you not see two people? Hold on, I'm, I'm walking further away from the camera so I can... Or from my phone so I can see it from a distance. Okay, I just... You know what, I'm going to roll the dice. I, this is probably wrong, but I'm going to go with Blues Brothers. And I have no... 1977. I have no idea. On the year you were incorrect, on the movie you are correct, it is the Blues Brothers! And Jake, you are currently at 11 of 11. And if we were playing by the original rules, which of course we are not because we decided to make it more difficult and you haven't um, failed, uh, you would be at 21 of 22 points correct right now. I feel like while you're, while you're doing this, Matt is just trying to make harder images for me. <laughs> He's literally photoshopping. He's like MS painting right now, like dot, 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 dot. The year is completely optional at this point. Obviously, feel free to guess, but you need to get the name of this new movie correct, this next movie correct. Otherwise, you are not going to get the pleasure of watching us eat disgustingly hot wings. Jake Roper, Emmy nominated filmmaker, director, writer, and generally handsome person. Are you ready? For question number 12. Uh, sure, I'm very nervous. Very nervous. All right, let's do it. Oh, goodness. See, this one's tricky, because I know that's Obi-Wan Kenobi, but I, here's the problem. This is a really tricky one. See, this is a little bit unfair, because he looks the same in all three movies. You've gotten every question right. I don't think you get to say anything about being unfair. <laughs> it's a little unfair, because it could be Revenge of the Sith, it could be Attack of the Clones, or it could be the first movie. Waiting doesn't isn't gonna solve anything. I, I don't know which, it's, I'm just gonna go with Star Wars Attack of the Clones. Jake Roper, you've gone 21 for 22. On the final question, you are Incorrect, it is Revenge of the Sith. No! We don't have to eat hot sauce. What is yeah! up? We're the real winners here. You may have completely destroyed our game and made us look like complete idiots, but we finally got one right, motherfucker. Yeah, look at that. Now that it's, now that it's not pixelated, I can 100% tell that it's still one of the three prequels. <laughs> Jake, you have been a pleasure to have on the show. Would you like to decide what you want us to tweet right now, or would you like to do that later? You know, I was thinking about this the other day, and I thought to myself, if I win, what do I want Austin to tweet? And I actually had a really good one. Oh, I remember. I was trying to buy time. I remember what I want you to tweet. You know that photo of your nipples that I always send to you on your birthday? I would like you, with no context, no nothing written, just a photo, that photo, of your nipples. Just that. Welcome. Jurassic Park.